welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see by the title, we have a part two of the trying out weird items off of Wish. You guys already enjoyed this video and I filmed it a month ago or so. So I thought I would do another one and I basically just picked up a whole array of very strange and weird items to try out for you guys in this video. If you guys are brand new here and you haven't seen my face before, make sure you guys subscribe. We're so close to 4 million subscribers, which is literally insane. I think we're like 50K away. I really hope we hit it before Christmas, but I don't think it's gonna happen. But fingers crossed. Also, be sure to follow me on my social media at Roxaurus so we can catch up on there as well. But if you guys want to see what I picked up from Wish this time, then let's get on into the video. Okay, so the first item I am very excited about. Here it is. It comes in a tiny little pouch, and inside we have this. We have a pink. I don't even know what this is. Oh, I think I remember. This is the pink like hair drying contraption. I have no idea what this is actually called, but it's basically a little net that you're supposed to put over your head and then you attach a hair dryer to this little like long thing here and it's supposed to dry your hair inside of this bit. Okay, I guess here we go. So this is supposed to go over your head. Hello? Okay, this is rather large, but I guess all your hair is meant to go in it. I kind of feel like an elephant with a little trunk right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to attach this onto my hair dryer, but I think we've just come across a problem. This part here, I'm pretty sure isn't gonna be stretchy enough to go over my hair dryer. I definitely didn't consider this happening. This is so hard, I can't see anything. Oh my God, I can't get this on. No, I literally can't get this on. Someone help me. I feel like I need the little attachment for my hair dryer for this to actually work, but I don't know where it is. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna put this on my hair properly. So I'm gonna put my hair up and put all of my hair inside. Okay guys, I have some good news. I managed to actually place this over my hair dryer. It was a task, I'm telling you. It literally took like 10 minutes to try and stretch this over this thing myself. But now that it's on, I'm ready to turn it on and see what this does. So three, two, one, go. <gasps> oh my God, this actually works. What? It's like really blowing into my ear though. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. That was really blowing into my ear. I'm actually kind of sad that it deflates instantly. Like as soon as you turn off the hairdryer, I look so funny right now. I mean, I would say this definitely works and for only two pounds, it's actually pretty good. Like, look at this. salon in my house for two pounds. I mean, my one concern is like, is this flammable proof? I mean, I just don't think that putting fabric on top of a warm or hot hair dryer or any hot tools is a good idea, but hopefully this is like a fireproof. That's my one concern really, but apart from that, it works really well. I'm actually really pleased with it. I can feel all of the hot air circulating inside and I feel like this would actually dry my hair pretty quick. Is it just me or does this kind of look like the little mushroom head from Mario? Oh my freaking God, look at this. Okay, I'm having way too much fun with this, to be honest. I do really actually like this. I've gotta say, for two pounds, I think this is a really cool tool. Even though it's quite weird, I feel like it is quite useful, so I'm gonna give this a big thumbs up. Okay guys, so the next strange thing that I picked up from Wish is actually this uh, hidden wall safe. This is it, this is what it looks like. I was so intrigued when I saw this on Wish because I just thought if this actually worked, this would be such a cool hideout spot. So this is what the little contraption looks like inside. Obviously this is kind of supposed to look like a plug outlet of some kind. I don't know if this is the European or the American one, so let me know in the comments. It then also does come with a key, so you're supposed to twist it to open it and I'm not sure if it's actually gonna open. It looks like it's already fallen apart to be honest, but this is how it comes apart. And then obviously this part here will stay inside the wall because you can put whatever inside, anything that fits really. And then once this comes off, you can access that. So that's really cool. I really like that idea. I mean, if you've got like some money or some jewelry, I don't know, if you wanna hide it somewhere inconspicuous, I feel like this would be a really cool idea. To be honest, I feel like this is a little bit of a gimmick, maybe more for like teenagers and kids. But the only issue here is that if it is aimed at kids and teens, what parent is actually gonna let their kid chisel into the wall to install this thing. To make the matters even funnier, it comes with a little template and also a little like saw, a little metal saw. Do they actually think that this little thing is gonna help you chisel into the wall? Because 
It's definitely not. Needless to say, I'm not gonna try and demonstrate how this works because I'm not willing to ruin my walls, but I still think this is a really cool idea, so I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Okay, so the next item I have is actually a really useful one. It's a little bit weird, but very practical nonetheless. So here it is. I don't know if you guys can see what this is exactly, but basically, this is a tool that reseals your packets of crisps so that they don't go stale. Like, that is such a cool invention. So here I have a packet of crisps. These are, by the way, the best crisps in the whole world. These are the Mr. Freed cheese flavor crisps, but these are actually gluten-free and vegan, so literally the best crisps ever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and reseal this packet of crisps that I've opened because stale crisps are just not the one. I'm really scared as to how this is actually gonna work. It is battery operated, so I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some like kind of heat involved which I'm not really looking forward to, but let's just see what happens. So here is the little device. I'm just gonna close it. What's going on? Oh my God, it's heating up. Oh my God, there was smoke. What the actual hell? Is that safe? That's literally near plastic. Mm. Well, I'm gonna try it out for you guys so you don't have to. All right, here I go. Is it working? Is it working? Is it? Oh, wait, what? This has just like wrecked my packet. Wait, has it sealed it? Oh, it's sealed it. I mean, it's kind of trimmed my packet of crisps a little bit, but underneath on this portion, it is actually sealed. Do you guys see this? This was open and now it's sealed. Look, oh, this actually works. All right, I'm just gonna seal this whole thing and see. What happens? Uh, it's trimming it, but it's sealing it as well. The only issue here is, right, that if you're sealing it, you have to do it all in one go because anytime you seal it, it like takes some of the packaging off. So if you do it in a couple of different goes, it's just gonna make rips in your packet. So obviously that's not properly sealed now. But I mean, I'm pretty impressed. That is sealed. That is a sealed packet of crisps. This actually works. Needless to say, I really like this. I'm gonna give this a massive thumbs up because my snacks are never gonna be stale again. All right guys, the next item I'm gonna try out is a little bit of a weird one. So this is the next item. It's basically two foam like pads. I don't even know how to explain this, to be honest, but basically, these are supposed to be the solution for hip dips. Now, I don't know if you've got them, I've got them. I feel like it's very normal for people to have hip dips, but I know that some people, including myself, are kind of self-conscious about it, which I think is absolutely absurd, to be honest. If you don't know what hip dips are, it's basically where your hip has a natural dip inside it and you can't really help it. You can do some like training to get rid of the little dip, but in the end, it's just how you're made. So you can't really change it. So these are little pads that you're supposed to put over your hips to not only get rid of your hip dips, but also to just make your hips bigger. Now, I think these are ridiculous, to be honest. I'd never wear something like this, but I thought for the sake of this video, because I found them, why not try them, right? So this is kind of how they look. They're not very thick at all, but they're very like spongy. And then the other side is, I'm pretty sure a sticky back because it comes with a foil. And if I pull that back, Yep, it is very sticky. Surely they don't actually want me to put this on my hip. That's never gonna come off. I mean, when I got these, the first thing I thought was that they definitely reminded me of like the Kardashians because they always have like massive hips. Who knows? Maybe they even wear things like this. So I guess let's just put them to the test and see how they actually work. Okay guys, I thought I'd show you a little comparison of how my hips look now before I actually try on the little inserts. So this is how my hips look before, and this is what they look like after, and oh my God, I actually see such a big difference. Can you guys see this? It's made my hips look so much more like rounder and fuller. Oh my God, like what if people have been doing this this whole time on like Instagram and things, and we're all just thinking like, wow, she's got such amazing hips. They're probably not real. I mean, compared to my waist though, they do look ridiculous. They look way too big and just really unnatural, but I don't dislike them. They actually look okay. Like, as long as I don't do that. Question is, would I ever wear them? Probably not because they're just not very comfortable. Like if I actually sit down, 
it kind of like bunches up here and it just doesn't look very good and it doesn't feel very nice on. So for looks, if you're like self-conscious about your hips, I'd try them because they actually work pretty well. But in terms of comfortability, they're not really the best. Okay guys, so the next item is probably the weirdest item I've ever tried. And it's basically a LED face mask. So this is basically a face mask that's supposed to rejuvenate your skin using the powers of like LED and UV lights, that kind of thing. Inside, it's literally filled. Oh my God, that looks really weird. <laughs> Inside, it's filled with little like LED strips. It's got a band to secure it. And then it is basically just a plug it into your mains sort of plug situation. So basically a summary of what this little thing is supposed to do, it's supposed to promote cell metabolism, make the skin secretion of collagen and fibrous tissue to fill itself. It's supposed to accelerate blood reflux, increase skin elasticity and improve skin complexion. Obviously it's got lots of different lights inside and each different light like red or green, they have different like functions. So one is for like reducing blemishes, the other one is for reducing wrinkles and that kind of thing. I'm pretty sure light therapy is like a big thing. You can pay like thousands of pounds for treatments at like proper salons but if you want to do it at home it costs 15 pounds and it might not do that much but i guess let's just try it and see how this product works on off <gasps> it works can you guys see the leds it's like red oh my god this is so weird and we've got green and we've got blue pink yellow blue this is cool. All right, I'm gonna try the blue. Oh, it's got brightness. I'm gonna put it on and see how it feels really. Um, obviously you're not gonna see any results from like five minutes of using this, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this is it. <laughs> okay, this is quite uncomfortable so far. It's really pushing on my forehead. I've gotta say, it's not the most comfortable thing I've ever worn, but if this actually worked, I'd be into it. I actually think this looks so freaking creepy, but let me know if you guys have ever tried something like this. I know that these treatments cost so much money when you actually go to a real salon to get it done. It says in the manual that there's no side effects of using this little like face mask, but I don't know if I trust that. It is a product from Wish, and whenever it comes to technology, I'm a little bit iffy with Wish technology. I don't think they really have any certifications of whether this is actually safe to use or anything like that. So I probably wouldn't recommend to buy this, but I do know that Amazon does also have masks like this. So if you did really want it, I guess just buy it from Amazon. Okay, this next item is this. Now, comment down below if you can guess what exactly this item is because it looks very strange to say the least. Okay, so for those of you who can't guess, I'm not gonna blame you because to be honest, I'm trying to still figure that out myself. This is basically a face slimming trainer for your face. So I'm gonna put my hair up first and then I'm gonna try and figure out how to actually put this thing on. Okay, so judging by the photo, these two things are actually supposed to go around my ears. So I'm guessing it's kind of supposed to sit like this. I'm just gonna give this a wild shot and see if I can figure it out. That goes there and then that. No, surely not. Wait, have I put this on the wrong way around? That goes there? Surely not. Look at my poor little face. Ow, this is hurting. <laughs> This is not how it looks on her. I'm sorry, what? Okay, that fits much better, I think. This is really tight. I mean, it is doing what it claims. It is really like slimming and tucking my chin. It's lifting up my face. But once I take it off, it's not gonna do that anymore. So I don't know. I feel like for this to actually do something, you'd have to wear it for so many hours because surely your face is not gonna get trained to do something in like five minutes. I don't know how I feel about this. This is making my cheekbones even bigger. I mean, everyone on Wish is saying that this feels really comfortable and that it's really nice quality. And I do have to agree with one of those things. It is quite nice quality. It feels really nice in my face. 
but it's not comfortable. Like, who are you lying to? I would say it was fun trying this out, but it really wasn't. It was just weird and it felt really uncomfortable. So I'm gonna give this a thumbs down. So that is everything for today's trying out weird wish items. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below. I would love for you guys to join our little dinosaur family as well. I'm now just gonna have a few snacks because why not? I feel like after sealing this packet, it just needs to be unsealed, am I right? Just so I get to use that little tool a couple more times. Mmm, so good. Anyways guys, that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.